On est au lancement Adidas en compagnie de Lucas Herbert, l'Australien. Lucas, um, thanks for uh, taking the time with, with us. Uh, are you, on a scale from 1 to 10, are you fashion forward? Are you interested into material and new apparel? Yeah, I think so. Um, I, I try and sort of, I try and, um, you know, look a, bit, a little trendy and a little, try and wear some streetwear around, um, around the place and not just be stuck in golf clothes. Um, I wouldn't say I'm super into it and um, and up with a lot of like the crazy out there kind of stuff I guess that people wear but um, definitely like to look good off the course and, and definitely feel good. Um, looking back, two wins, two W's in 2021, um, how would you assess the, the year after 2022? Uh, what was the, the lesson learned on, on the tour and throughout the world? Yeah, it was a bit of a struggle last year. Um, just. You know, life changed a hell of a lot from, you know, from 2021 we were playing on the European Tour and, um, you know, what that looked like at the start of the year versus look, what, what life looked like at the end of the year was very, very different. So it was a big learning curve for me, uh, adapting to playing on the PGA Tour full time, playing some of the biggest events as well. You know, you're playing against the best guys in the world and they've been doing it for a while. So they're pretty well versed in, uh, in how to get himself ready to go every single week. Um, so yeah, big learning curve for me. Um, I didn't expect to get really, really good results. Um, I just knew it was going to be tough. So I think that one year of experience under my belt now, I feel like as much as it wasn't as as a successful year as I'd like, I think it's given me a lot of experience this year to go and, and get some better results. Looks like uh, all the Aussies are always the, the players who are traveling the most. Mm. What are the, the, the challenges to make sure that you keep your energy level pretty much balanced throughout the season knowing that you're going to travel all over the world yeah i mean it's difficult um i think we've done it from a young age you know australia's just so far away from the rest of the world so if we've wanted to do anything really um competing in the sport overseas it's always a long journey on a plane to get to where we're going so we're, we're a bit more you know conditioned to it from a younger age to be able to do that um and yeah it's just it's just a big balance of obviously trying to eat the best you can when you're on the road and, and stay hydrated and, and look after yourself and, you know, not be susceptible to, to getting sick and picking up viruses from other people. Um, and then just balancing that with like getting some good downtime and and resting and, and recovering. Um, you know, it's, it's just a, it's a massive gamble, a, a massive juggle through the season, um, trying to get that right. And sometimes you get it wrong and that's okay. Everyone gets it wrong. Um, But, you know, it's part of the fun of being a professional golfer. Last question for our viewers and, uh, from Montreal, Canada. If we want to know more about you, do you have a an hidden talent or a special you know, passion that you have of yours? Well, I mean, for everyone from Montreal, I can be a Canadians fan for you for uh, for a few sure. minutes if you like. So a bit of a hockey fan. I don't, um, I don't possess any talent when it comes to hockey, uh, but I do love watching it. I don't know everyone in Montreal. Uh, will be big hockey fans as well. So um, there you go. It's probably something you didn't know about me that uh, I'm a fan there. Uh, Talent-wise, I'm probably a 20 handicap on the guitar. I'm not very good, but I do enjoy playing it. Um, enjoy sort of taking my mind off, you know, everything to do with golf and, and getting it into that creative space um, with a guitar in hand. So yeah, there you go. There's a couple of things you probably didn't know. So you're making new fans for the Prisons Cup for 2024. You know that? Absolutely, absolutely. We got we got to we got to get everyone on our side. You know, uh, we got to beat this US team. We're sick of them winning all these Prisons Cups. So anything we can do to get a victory, uh, 2024. Mark Weir, captain, Royal Montreal Golf Club. I'm uh, I'm all for it. Thanks for the for your time and all the best for 2023. Thank you, and thank you for making me not do this in French. <laughs>